Good morning. Woo, workout eight of 24. Does that put us, am I doing my math correctly? That puts us there. <laughs> Today will put us a third of the way through, I think, if I'm calculating correctly. Okay, you guys, who else is super, super sore? Oh, I am so sore today from yesterday. My goodness. <laughs> oh. I do love being sore, but good morning, Jill. But I'm supposed to do a hill workout today. All right, let's go. So let's get loosened up. Oh, okay. I'll see you back here in a minute. Yeah, I, I would need a bra too. Woo! Hamstrings, butt, quads, calves. It's all sore today. That's okay. One of the best things you can do when you're sore is to move, is to, is to work out again. Um, not necessarily like super hard or you know, you want to kind of um, loosen up. You want to get your muscles warmed up again is kind of the key. You want to um, do some range of, range of motion and get the blood flow uh, going back to the muscles. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. I don't know what's happening. I'm too sore. I'm too sore to talk, you guys. Um, yeah, so that's what we want to do. But, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do some core and some cardio. So core um, with intervals. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's like, what is happening to my mouth right now? Core and cardio intervals. So that's the plan. I do love being sore, but I would prefer to be sore headed into a rest day. <laughs> but anyways, that's okay. So grapevines, my ankle is feeling a little better. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna modify the hopping, the jumping. Um, just trying to save it for my runs. It's tender, I can feel it, but it's, it's healing for sure. So. Um, so we're gonna start with low no impact for our first round. Second round, we will add some hops. And then third round, we'll go high impact. If you, if you want to keep it at this this pace that we're doing now, low impact, that's totally totally okay. Um, but if you want to increase to high impact, that works too. So remember, no judgment zone. You're here. You're doing it. That's what I'm telling myself every single day. Doing it is obviously 100% better than not. <laughs> Right? So even if it's ugly and messy, even if I'm sore like I am today, you know, showing up and logging each week is going to get me closer to my goals. Even if, you know, there's days I get it, like yesterday was a day. Uh, I saw, I saw several people that like weren't even intertwined. So it's not like we were all rubbing off on each other. Um, just saying that they felt off yesterday. They felt like different. Defe defeated, deflated, um, something was in the universe yesterday. I don't know what it was, it's gone today, but there's those days when you feel like you're putting in the work, you're putting in the effort, you're showing up, you're like, I'm doing all the things I'm supposed to do, but I feel like I'm not seeing any traction, I'm not getting any traction, I'm not seeing any results, I'm not, is it working? And it can be frustrating, right? I get it. It can be, I'll be super vulnerable and transparent here. My, um, Lisa, my assistant who helps me with my emails, give her a, give her some love. She does an amazing job. She was creating today's email actually. And the first draft she sent me, there was a, a freeze frame of me working out yesterday. And I was like, oh my God, that's not what I'm supposed to look like, right? Like, so we all have this kind of like, 
I, I, I just, you know, it honestly, if I'm to be completely honest, it made me like not want to ever show up on camera again. And when I started these live workouts with you guys, that was one of my kind of motivations. Get those heels up. I can feel I'm not, and I know because I'm babying my ankle right now. Um, I got to the point, I remember one day I was teaching a class on camera like this. So I'm looking at myself, you guys. You guys aren't necessarily watching yourself work out. And A, I could not find any clothes to wear that didn't look really bad on camera in terms of how they fit, right, or feel bad. And I got to a point where I was like, I cannot look at myself on camera. And so I was gonna stop doing live workouts. So I thought, well, what's, what sense does that make? I'm gonna stop doing workouts on camera, the only workout that I was actually doing, because I can't stand how I look. And, you know, first of all, that would mean that I wouldn't be doing the one workout that I was actually doing. And secondly, I'm gonna let my vanity and my ego get in the way of me doing something, right? And so I thought, no, that doesn't make sense. But it was a kick in the pants to like, you know what? If, I don't know if I'm making sense right now, but it motivated me to start six weeks of will with you guys. Cause I thought, you know what? I want to keep doing these workouts and I need to take a hold of my health. Okay, so you guys can do high knees. Um, I'm not going to because of my ankle. Those seem to bother it. But you guys can up the intensity or you can add the hop. Three options, marching, hop, or high knees. See, I can't do it. <laughs> it, it hits right where, I, where it's tender. Um, and so yesterday she sent me the draft of the email and I'm like, oh my God, is that what I look like? And I thought, oh my God, is that what you guys are looking at the whole workout? And it, it upset me, right? Like it, it really, it bothered me a lot. And I share this with you guys because we all feel that no matter what, right? Like, so somebody might look at me and say, oh, you look great. Somebody else might say, wow, you've really put on a lot of weight from when I saw you last, right? And neither really matters, but the point is, not showing up to do the workouts is not gonna help me get to where I wanna be, right? And so, anyways, hopefully that makes sense. So I share that with you because when you have those moments, um, I've learned now that those thoughts don't serve me. Like looking at a picture of myself and thinking, my God, you look like, like terrible. How could you let yourself get to that point? That doesn't serve me, it doesn't do me any good because it doesn't even motivate me to change it. it. I'll ask you something, what's the first thing that you wanna do when you have those thoughts? When you have the thoughts, how could you let yourself get like this? Um, the shame of, you know, what, where you're at. What's the first thing you wanna do? Like for me, I feel like I forgot something. For me, the first thing I wanna do is go, is go eat something. And I'm not talking about a salad. I wanna go eat a piece of pizza. I wanna have a cookie. Or, um, I wanna do the exact thing that's going to take me in the opposite direction of the path I wanna take, right? And so I've learned now when I have those thoughts, you know, whether I liked that picture it was one of those still frames that I'm like, we all know, we've all seen still frames, right? From videos, maybe not, because maybe you guys don't video yourself. I'm on video all the time. And I'm, for the most part, I don't care anymore, like whatever, my face is like, uh, <laughs> whatever. But this one really bothered me. And we all have those. I have learned now, let it go. Forget about it because it's not going to serve you and it's not going to take you in the direction you want. So how can you 
can't just forget or you have to replace it. So how can I replace it? So replace it with a thought that, you know what? I'm on the right path. I'm working out. You t I take a look, what am I doing? What am I doing about it? And I'm doing all the right things. So you know what? They are going to pay off eventually. They won't pay off if you stop doing them. So yes, Jill, I'm so sore. Yeah, sorry, I'm just reading your guys' comments. Okay. I'm grabbing my mat. We're gonna start our, uh, core today. And we're doing similar to yesterday. We're gonna do 30 seconds. Oh, I have to change that button. Okay, so we're gonna do 30 seconds of each core exercise. It's gonna be a six minute core set. Okay, so we're doing 30, 30. So we have, we have Six exercises we're going to do, we're going to take a little rest, and then we're going to do it again. And each one is for 30 seconds. <sighs> All right. We're going to start in side planks. Okay, ready? So whichever side you want to start with. So anyways, I share all that with you to help you because we all, and honestly, I had these same thoughts and these same, um, you know, these same negative thoughts about myself when I was probably, I haven't weighed myself in probably about a year. I don't want to weigh myself. Um, I don't need to weigh myself. It's not going to help me. It's going to make me cry. I'm sure. Um, okay. Other side. I'm not going to make you look at my butt. So other side. Um, I, I forget what I was saying. I weighed myself like a year ago. Oh, even like when I was my absolute smallest, lightest, um, I'm not even gonna say fittest because I think at the time in a brief moment I was fit. And then it passed and I became, okay, we're going to roll ups. So you're gonna be on your back and you're gonna roll up as much as you can roll up. So mine are pathetic. We used to do these as our easy exercises. Okay, so you're rolling up. 10 more seconds. And then we go to leg lifts. Um, I used to have these same thoughts, is what I was gonna say, even. So it doesn't really matter what size or what shape you are. Those thoughts will plague you. Like, it's a way of thinking, it's your paradigm. So you could be in the best shape of your life and you're still gonna look and see the flaws. I remember years ago doing live videos, uh, live workout videos, and I, oh my gosh, if I could show you the workout video. Okay, we're going to uh, high plank. If I can show you the workout video, I remember distinctly, it was in this garage, coming in here, and I remember putting on a baggy shirt, hoping nobody could see my flapping belly. And when I look back at that video now, I look like a skeleton. I had skin and bones, essentially. Now we're going to low plank. But, you know, I had loose skin. I, I had loose skin, I've had four kids. Um, and I had lost a lot of weight. I was super tiny, but the point is I still, still saw only imperfections on myself. And so what I want to kind of impart on you guys is that part of what I want to coach you to is acceptance of you. So I think, so we're going to take a 30 second rest and then we're going to go through that cycle again. So we're going to do that one more round. You can't, even if you're perfect, you're still gonna feel this way, right? So it's not about reaching that goal that's gonna make you feel better. It's about feeling better as you are, working towards always becoming a better version of yourself because there is no finish line when it comes to that. There's no finish line when it comes to the best version of you. Um, and that means you're never gonna feel the satisfaction of what you look like or who you are it comes from within, it doesn't come from without. 
So you might think that, you know, if I can fix this, this, and this about myself, then I would be so, so confident. Um, or you might think when I was this, this, and this, I was confident. So if I can get back there, you know, that's kind of maybe partly my thinking. But I recognize now, no, I, I didn't feel good then either, right? I did not feel confident then either. And so what I really want to really want to you know invite you to do alongside me is I really work on my feelings and thoughts about myself as I am you know being okay with who I am today when I was that person before uh, you know not to sound like a cuff I was probably 10 years younger and the fact is our bodies do change as women especially and maybe no matter what I do, this is who I am right now. So I can still, that's not why I work out. I work out to improve myself, to be strong, to be fit, to be, to give to my body, right? Like we talked about yesterday, to give. Um, it builds confidence, right? I'm looking after my physical self, but I have to equally look after my spiritual and, and mental self, right? And anyways, <laughs> you get you get the point. Okay, we have high and low plank after this. And then we're gonna take a short rest and then we're gonna do a cardio set. Four minute cardio set. So high, high plank. And I heard something on a podcast yesterday, I'm trying to remember what it was, but basically when we're not happy with ourselves, we're comparing ourselves with an image in our minds of what we feel like we should be, right? And that could be, that's not necessarily aesthetic or visual. It could be completely different. It could be, you know, a goal that you have set for yourself, whether it's a work goal or it could be a running goal, it could be any goal, but in your mind, you feel like you should be this. You know, you should be X, Y, Z, and you're not. So there's a difference between, you know, what you think you should be and what you are. And usually, the key is really becoming more aware. Instead of being frustrated and resentful for that space between the two, go to the person you are and look at, okay, who is she and how can she be better? Instead of chasing something, but for one reason or another, you're, you're not that person, right? Okay, so, oh, I'm apologizing in advance to you guys for who did yesterday's workout and are as sore as me. Because <laughs> we're gonna do some high kicks and side kicks. Okay, let me just change my clock because we're doing a different circuit. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm not gonna, you guys can jump. I'm not going to. So I'm gonna just do high kicks like this. You can jump if you want. Actually, it doesn't bother me too much. It's like certain movements can feel that inside of my ankle. Okay, we're 10 second rest and we're going to the side ones. This could just about kill my butt, but that's okay. <sighs> okay, ready? So we're gonna go kick, 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 kick. And you can add the hop if you want. Woo! <laughs> I'm feeling some muscles, you guys. Muscles that are like, woo, you have not worked me in a while. Okay, we're going to mountain climbers. So we have four, so mountain climbers. If you're feeling good, you can run these as fast as you can. If you're feeling sluggish, you can step them. If you're 
advanced in your fitness, you can run them. And if you're a beginner, you can step them. Okay, we're gonna do mountain climbers again, but we're gonna do cross, cross body. So we're crossing over to the elbow. Okay, so like this. So you're twisting from your core, pulling that belly button in. And lifting that knee. And then we're gonna do that circuit one more time. Okay, so we're doing standing up into high kicks. This is our workout. We're gonna do this twice today. Okay, like we're gonna go back to that first set, do it again. We're gonna do this one again. So you can jump kick. Again, go as fast or as hard as you want. If you can go faster than me, push yourself, okay? This is our cardio, we're doing four minute cardio set. You wanna get your heart rate up and you wanna feel some sweat happening. So really kick through that heel and lifting that leg. This is really good for mobility, for like widening, not widening, just range of motion is what I'm trying to get at. Okay, hey, mountain climbers. You can be running or stuffing these. If you can go faster than me, whew, then go for it. Okay, cross body, then we're gonna take a rest, then we're, we're gonna repeat that circuit. Okay. Is anybody thinking about getting their patio furniture out? <laughs> My husband and I were talking about it this morning, I'm like, keep forgetting it. It's still March, you guys. It feels like May here, like the weather. Winter's gone. It's warm. Uh, I feel like we could totally like be setting up a patio this week. Okay, that is round one. We're doing two rounds of that. So we're gonna start the second round. Just take, grab a drink, have a break. We're gonna go back into that core set and then finish with the Tabata set. Whew. So side planks, I'm gonna start on this side this time. It's nice to just kinda start with a different side. How's everybody doing? How are you guys doing? I got Jill and Dawn. Anybody else joining us today? I can only see, it's funny because sometimes I go back and I can see more people that were here. And if, so if I'm not shouting you out and you're here, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go side plank. I'm bad today, I'm gonna be honest. I will, I, there's, so one thing, and I think I've shared this on another video, but if you haven't read the book Roar, okay, so I plank by Dr. Stacy Sims. So she, and she actually, I heard her on a podcast and she actually has an amazing Facebook group or page too, I think. Dr. Stacy Sims and her book is called Roar. And she talks about the cycles within the month of the female body. Um, and she talks about it, you know, the regular, you know, your young female body, pre-menopause, menopause and perimenopause. She talks about all the different phases. And there, I remember learning from her, there's about a three day period each month where a lot is happening in our bodies, ladies. Like a lot of changes, a lot of adjustments. Um, it's grand central station in our body. And those are the days when you have those cravings. So you notice if you're, if you're mindful, 
and kind of aware of your body throughout the month. I noticed that in training, I would go out for a run. I'm like, have I ever run before? Like, I felt like so out of shape. That was me last night, by the way. <clears throat> you know, the whole thing was just a struggle. It was hard. And your mind goes to like, what is happening? It's a distinct difference, you guys. If you work out regularly, you'll notice it. <clears throat> it's a distinct fatigue um, that makes you feel like something's wrong or something's off, right? So I would always think, oh, am I getting sick? Or am I overtraining? Or am I eating enough? Or am I sleep? I always think, okay, what is wrong with me? And then it would pass. And so she, I, I never knew this, but it would wreak mental havoc in me every single month when this would happen, but I didn't track it. So I didn't really realize that it was every month that it was happening. I just knew it would happen from time to time. And when I listened to a podcast with her, she explained that there's a three day, she obviously explains it a lot more scientifically than I am, but essentially there's three days, two, three, four days, the female body is a really busy place. And so you crave carbs or sugar usually because your body needs the extra, um, the extra influx of calories and it, it, it's gonna ask for carbs because they're the easiest to use for the body. And you'll just feel like crap. Um, and once I, um, once I learned that, I paid attention and I realized, yep, yeah, so it's three days every month that I feel like I've hit a wall and I feel like, you know, like I'm useless. And so I'm going to guess that that's what I'm, what is happening right now because I feel kind of useless. I have no excuses. I slept well. Uh, I didn't eat great yesterday. I will say that we had uh, birthday celebrations the other day and lots of leftovers and Okay, so, oh, okay, side plank, one more round of core. So make sure when you're in these side planks, your, your elbow is stacked beneath your shoulder and you're, you're not kind of curved either way. You wanna be nice and straight. You wanna be lifting using these muscles, your obliques. So you wanna be lifting up, pressing up with those obliques, three, two, one, other side. You can actually, if you find these hard, you can make them easier by putting your foot in front of you. But here's a, I don't know if you could see in the last video, I was trying to demo the last positioning, but you want your elbow beneath your shoulder. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're done with those. Last set of roll-ups. When we finish, I know we've done enough for our plank and our core challenge for March, but we're gonna finish with some squats at the end of our workout so that we've got everything packed into this one workout. Anyways, pay attention. Um, to those days that you feel and see how long they last for. So I would say yesterday was a funky day, mostly mentally, but I did find my run last night was <laughs> pretty awful. Not awful. It was, it just, I felt like I'd never run before. So I don't want to say, it's, we don't want to attach those negative words. It was not, um, it was a more challenging run, but I did it, whatever. Um, and so I just don't attach meaning to it anymore, right? But whereas it used to kind of get really in my head.
Um, we'll spend core for today. And you certainly don't have to capo if you want to do the Grand Slam challenge separate to this. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I add those in the evening. Okay, so we're gonna take a 30 second rest, woo, and we're gonna do the, uh, our finish with our Tabata. Our high kicks, side kicks, and mountain climbers. Four minutes. <laughs> we got this, we have got this. All right, let's go. Oh, change my clock. That's awesome, Dawn. That is awesome. And that's why we have each other, right? Like, to get through this together. Okay, let's go. Kicking, so add the jump if you can. If you guys can jump those, I know I keep saying this, but I'm babying this ankle. I actually, it's funny because I, my ankles are pretty resilient. Like I can literally roll over, bounce back and keep running. And on the weekend, the trail conditions were kind of strange. Like they were rutted from the mud melting and then, and then freezing. So it was frozen in, whoops. Okay, go back to the kicks. We're gonna do these side kicks. Anyways, I went over pretty, pretty good. It's I definitely had to stop. My friend that I was running with was like, "Oh, that did not look good." I'm like, "No, I'm good. My ankles are are pretty, pretty resilient, but it's tender." Okay, mountain climbers. I am going to make myself a nice restorative green smoothie after this to give Remember we talked yesterday about give and take. My body, I think, would love me to give it <laughs> some nourishment. So my favorite things, I like to put celery. Celery has, is really high in um, um, electrolytes. So great for after a workout. Um, cucumber, just full of water. Um, I like to throw in some lemon. Lemon's really good for inflammation. Turmeric, I have, what I do is I buy the little bags of fresh turmeric, but you can also use powdered turmeric because it's great for inflammation. Uh, ginger, again, I always I buy the, um, the big hunk of the root and then I cut it into like one inch pieces and I throw it in the freezer so then I just throw them into my smoothies. What else do I like to put in? I like to put in, then you need to put in a fruit to sweeten it. So either an orange or an apple, depending what I have. And then usually some banana. I put banana probably pretty much into every smoothie. Uh, coconut water, again, for restoration. We're almost done, you guys. We have two more to go. And then just got to do 20, 25 squats, I think, right? And then here's a secret to building a smoothie. 
always put in a fat source because the fat is what distributes the minerals and vitamins to your body. It's like the carrier for absorption. You, you need the fat for, oh, I always put in greens too, either kale, spinach, some kind of a leafy green. I have a high powered blender that pulverizes like literally anything. So some of this stuff you really do need a high power blender for, but so you want to put in a fat. Woo, we made it you guys. So we're gonna finish with our squats. Um, so examples would be nut butter. Three, four, five, um, coconut oil. I have a supplement that I really like that is MCT oil combined with grass-fed butter and collagen that I use. But when I don't have that, I hope I'm counting right. I'm counting with my fingers. We're going to do five extra just to be safe. Okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Way to go, you guys. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to post uh, eight weeks strong. Tag me. Let me know that you did the workout. Way to go. High fives. We will see you tomorrow.